Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Review. So today we have a very, very cool figure to take a look at. This is a collect day figure that I've been kind of looking for for a very long time and just recently was only able to finally acquire it. It's not like it's something that's hard to find. It's easily and readily available on everything dinosaur. It's just one that I kind of stupidly always passed up, always had other priorities before it, and I probably shouldn't have. However, I am happy to say that I now have it, and this is the collect day Kellenkin, and you can see that it is an extremely nice looking figure, much nicer than I expected it to be in person, honestly. It is quite beautifully sculpted overall and a very impressive size for a Kellenkin, easily the biggest version of this species that I have in my collection right here. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get a closer look at this very cool looking terror bird figure right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt, you can see that the beak is primarily a nice kind of bright yellow, which I think is a potentially realistic coloration, and definitely for this species, you would think that that would be a very realistic coloration. You can see the nostrils are sculpted out right there. The actual detailing of the beak is pretty impressive overall. They've done a good job of kind of adding in some extra detail within the beak, and generally like you could see like the way it looks, it almost looks like a real living animal's beak, and like I have ducks. And the way that my duck's beaks sometimes appear where they almost look like they have like chips and everything taken out of them. You can see that here on this, the way it's been painted. That actually is a really, really cool aspect of the figure. You can see the inside of the mouth as well is a very nice realistic looking coloration. And you can see that the tongue is inside there and there is a nice gloss coat as well. Coming back here into the eye, the eye is painted with a yellow and given a nice black pupil. And it looks really good. It's beautifully placed also is glossed quite realistically as well. You can see the feather details start to pick up, of course, as we get back here into the head, but I really like that they've kind of given it just that really nice little subtle area of red paint around the eye. Really cool looking, and it's just, again, something that's just so subtle the way it's applied. I really, really like it, and at first glance, you may not even notice it until you really get it nice and close and take a good close look at it, but it looks great, honestly. You can see there is a little sloppiness to the paint right here as the paint from the beak has run back onto the feathers right there in that spot, which is a little downside. I don't know if it looks that way over here. Eh, a little bit, but I think it honestly looks a little better over here as far as the way that that paint application is applied. But moving back here into the head, again, up here in the back, you have like a kind of a little gathering of feathers up here, almost like a crest on the top of the head of our Kellenkin, and it looks really cool. Very nicely sculpted out feathers up here on the top of the head, a nice big kind of bunch of feathers right there, and it looks really cool and helps to give the figure a pretty flashy appearance sculpt-wise. Moving down here into the neck region, again, the feather detail continues to look really good. Collecte always does a great job, I feel like, on the feather detail on their figures. There's an ever so light dry brushing of a lighter coloration here on the underside, and it kind of has like a white and then transitions to a yellow, but it's very inconsistent, so I'm not exactly a huge fan of that and the way they've painted it. I mean, it's nice to see like some areas kind of having a little dry brushing just so there's some color variation. And it is something that is potentially realistic because sometimes animals, especially like this, can have such inconsistent coloration on their feathers. So, I mean, it is something that could potentially be realistic. It's just not exactly my first choice for the way that this probably should have been painted. But moving down into the neck again, some more really nice feather detail. The actual sculpting of the neck itself also looks really good. Coming down here into the body, if you move out into the wings here, you can see how nicely done that is. Very nice detailing here within those almost like early sort of attempt at flight feathers, the way that they look. They kind of appear that way. And it looks really cool, and they have like a nice blue, just adding in a little extra color variation for a little bit of flashiness I guess on an otherwise very dark looking bird. Looking up here at the top of the animal again very nice feather detail is sculpted out in every aspect. You can see some pretty nice girth to the animal as well especially right here if you look right there he's very very girthy I guess you could say. But up here on the back you can also see some dry brushing that they've given it kind of like a light brown to dry brush some areas out then that looks pretty nice as well. Coming back here into the tail feathers, you can see those very large tail feathers look great. 
sculpt wise they are fantastic paint wise there's not really too much going on in general with the figure the majority of the figure is just this nice black and again the way they've dry brushed certain areas of it is really nice and does allow for some of the feather detail to kind of pop out and jump out at you and give it some extra color variation which is pretty realistic overall coming down here into the leg you can kind of see how like the skin is pulling off of the body right there the feathers are kind of reacting right there to the way the movement is as this leg is stretched back pretty far as the Kellenkin is walking along and the feather detail continues to look really nice as we move down the leg until about here where it transitions now to the actual skin textured area of our Kellenkin and that as well looks really nice and they've given it a beautiful dry brushing which brings the detail out in really nice fashion honestly I think that looks great you can see a dew claw back here and then coming down into the foot, the foot sculpt isn't the most appealing foot sculpt for a Kellenkin ever, but it still looks pretty good. And this figure is pretty old on the part of Collect Day, so nowadays if they sculpted a new Kellenkin, it would be, again, light years better than what we see here, and even this version is still pretty nice. The neck, you can again see how the animal has its head turned to its left, so you can see how the neck is kind of reacting to that movement. Again, as we move down here into like the wing area of our Kellenkin, you can see like some yellow that's applied to this side and then the blue again like we had seen on the previous side on the back of those feathers and it's just so subtle all, as well as far as the way they've applied that kind of like that red up on the face. It's just like the smallest little area just giving it a little little tiny bit of extra flashiness. You can see however that the white paint on this side is much stronger than what we see on the previous side. This side it's a little bit more dull and then when you get over here, it's kind of uh, thicker and stronger in general. Now my camera's trying not to focus on it. I don't know why that is. And you can also see some more of that yellow kind of showing up randomly here and there. You can kind of also see a pretty good sense of the musculature there displayed underneath the feathers, which is impressive that Collect A can pull off that kind of detail within feathers to really kind of still show off the sculpting of the musculature of the animal. Moving down into the foot again, the foot sculpt and the leg sculpt is really nicely dry brushed over here as well. And you can see some nicely painted nails on the foot down there. I love the skin texture here on the back of the leg. That looks really good and with that dry brushing it really pops. But again, the figure as a whole is probably not the best Kellenkin that you'll ever see. It certainly isn't the best figure from Collect Day. But that being said, it's still a really, really cool looking figure. And a terror bird at this size is impressive in every way. So I am psyched to have this now here in my collection. As far as a size goes on our Kellenkin for a length from the beak to the tail, you're looking at around the 8 inch range or about 20 centimeters. And then for a height to the top of that little crest of feathers you're closing in on six inches or about 15 centimeters maybe a little bit higher for a size comparison here is mr papo t-rex the attack pack colovasaurus and from this angle robert muldoon who looks like he's about to have his head bit off by a terror bird even though he's actually kind of in front of him but from that angle it looks like he's about to be annihilated regardless you can see next to these figures that again the Kellenkin here does sport some pretty good size it's actually being I think a deluxe figure it definitely has some really good size to it overall and one of the most appealing factors to this figure I think is the larger size for a Kellenkin figure I think that the larger size is absolutely awesome and hopefully next to these figures you'll have a good idea of that so this Collect A Kellenkin figure is fantastic, if you ask me. Again, it's not the best Kellenkin figure you're ever going to see. That is definitely not the case. But it is a really cool release from Collect A, an older figure that's been out for many years. So again, if they actually take a shot at one currently, you're going to see a much better sculpt overall. But even with that being said, even with this being an older figure, I still think it is really nicely done and was a much better figure in person than I ever expected it to be. It's sometimes it's just the, the way the cards are played where you'll see a figure online many times and think, well, it's not really all that great. It's something I'll get, but maybe not right now. And then when you actually get the figure in hand, it's a very different story. And I can't even begin to count the amount of times that's actually happened to me. Tons of times where I'll see a figure online and think, it's that's okay. And then when I get it and I have it in hand, it's much better than I expected it to be. And that is exactly the case with this Kellenkin figure. 
I think overall it is really nicely done. Sculpt wise they've done a great job of adding in beautiful feather detail all over the figure and they've done a really good job again on the beak and giving it that very realistic appearance I think. The paint job that they've given this is really nice as well as nice dark tones of color honestly pretty much what i would expect to find on a real life kellenkin if it were alive today and happened to walk down my street this pretty much looks exactly like what i would expect it to look like paint wise so that is a huge plus as well i do like that they've kind of thrown in random colors here and there like blues and yellows and whites and stuff in the most random of spots and even that little red area around the eye just really cool little areas of extra paint that gives it a tiny bit of flashiness but in an otherwise dark color scheme i think that was a really cool choice on the part of collect day the actual positioning of the body and the pose they've gone with as well looks really cool for this species it looks like it's about to maybe run down and chase down some prey and grab something to eat and knowing this animal that's probably what it did for the majority of its time and i think they've displayed that really nicely in the overall pose with a very appealing look for the figure even having its mouth open like it's about to chomp down on something was a really nice touch overall so this figure in my opinion is a really really nice release from collect days so if you would like to pick this up i will include a link in the description to where you can do just that on everythingdinosaur.com so make sure you check the description head on over there purchase yourself this really cool collect day kellen can figure and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review thanks for watching